In 2014, Yellowstone was named one of the seven natural wonders of North America. And what says Yellowstone more than Old Faithful? With an average height of 123.5 feet and erupting approximately every hour and a half, it is like no other site on the planet. But Yellowstone has much more to offer than just Old Faithful. Off the beaten path, there are all kinds of other geyser basins, like here at Fountain Paint Pot where we see fountain geyser, which has long periods, up to seven years of dormancy. And this summer has been on a regular schedule of four and a half to seven hours. So while last summer, I rarely saw fountain geyser. This summer, many tours have been able to enjoy the splendors of fountain geyser. And you're much closer than Old Faithful, and it lasts much longer than Old Faithful, so truly an intimate experience. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I think I should talk more about how geysers work. Of course, lakes, streams, and rivers are full of water. That water has time to percolate down into the earth. Now, usually underneath the Rocky Mountains, we have liquid hot magma at about 15 to 25 miles. Here in Yellowstone, however, that magma is only around two, two and a half miles below the surface. So this water comes in contact with that magma and has the chance to heat up. And of course, hot things rise. And of course, as it heats up, it also expands. So the water has to go somewhere and it comes boiling back up to the surface. We call them hot springs. Now, sometimes these hot springs have underground chambers and sometimes these chambers have constrictions. So there's more water flowing into the chamber than can escape. Now, many times on top of these systems, there are pools pushing down on those chambers. And once the pressure in the chamber exceeds the pressure of the water pushing down from above, pop goes the top like a bottle of champagne and air goes rushing into these superheated, super pressurized systems, allowing all of that water to flash boil. And of course it expands exponentially and comes squirting out of the hole and into the sky as a geyser. Now, of the 15,000 geothermals on the planet, over 10,000 of those are here in Yellowstone, like Great Fountain Geyser. Now, of course, Great Fountain Geyser can shoot over 200 feet, which is much taller than Old Faithful. It can last much longer than Old Faithful. It spits out more water than Old Faithful. But unlike Old Faithful, which goes about every 90 minutes, Great Fountain can be hours of waiting. Steamboat Geyser the largest geyser on the planet, can sometimes go 26 years with no eruptions. Recently, however, it has had record-shattering activity. Last year, some 32 times, Steamboat erupted. Also on the Grand Loop, which is included in our one-day Yellowstone tour, is the Mud Volcano and Sulphur Cauldron area, a very hot, dynamic, and acidic feature. Mud Volcano, along with the Dragon's Mouth, is really stinky. Smells like rotten eggs. Now, of the 26 Native American tribes that claim Yellowstone as part of their heritage, this Dragon's Mouth is believed to be where the people emerged from. Grand Geyser, which also shoots over 200 feet, is a site like no other. Many have waited for hours, only to say that the 15 to 20 minute eruption is well worth the wait. Because again, you're much closer than Old Faithful. Riverside Geyser, with a bison in the background, is probably as iconic Yellowstone as you can possibly get. So I invite you to come up with Ecotour Adventures and see the hidden wonders that are right at your fingertips when on tour with us.